The beautiful and glittering levels of the lakes evoke pleasant feelings and tempting us to take a bath, or at least to enjoy the sight of the beautiful blue surface, but only few of us are aware of the second dangerous phase of the lakes. The phase of the lakes that is scary and deadly. Friends, welcome on the Top Topics channel. We are also on TikTok with the raw footages of natural phenomena, and Instagram where you can share your own pictures and videos regarding mother nature with our community. Okay, enough said, let's get back to the lakes. As incredible as it may sound, lakes can be very dangerous places. They can sink out of nowhere, flowing dangerous gases, or be bottomless and insidious. Let's take a look at some examples from the past. Deadly catastrophe happened around Lake Neos in Cameroon on August 21st, 1986, when local villagers woke up to the horrible sight. The dead bodies lying helplessly on the ground resembled a war scene. No wonder there was immediate speculation among the locals about secret government experiment and other similar conspiracy theories that could explain the seemingly unreasonable tragic event. In fact, nature itself was the one to blame. The volcanic lake of Neos, with which the locals lived in peace for centuries, carbon dioxide and other fumes escaping from the magma below the lake were stored at the bottom of the lake, reaching a depth of up to 208 meters. The high concentration of carbon dioxide caused the so-called limnic explosion, which created a geyser flowing water 100 meters high from the lake surface. A toxic cloud of suffocating gas spread it to the surrounding villages during the night. A huge amount of gas, more specifically 1.5 million tons, killed every living soul in a distance of 25 kilometers. More than 1,700 people and 3,500 cattle died that week. Only one survivor came out of the nearest village of Neos alive. Lake Neos is far from being the only deadly lake in the world. Two other water areas also have dangerous capacity. Lake Monun in Cameroon, which killed 37 people in 1984, and potentially Lake Kibu, on the border of Rwanda with Congo which in the event of a limnic eruption would probably cause a catastrophe of truly apocalyptic proportions. It is 2000 times bigger than Lake Neos. It is also worth mentioning the countless small volcanic lakes and ponds that are found around the world, mostly at the foot of the active volcanoes. Such volcanic lakes have the ability to make a pleasant spa a life-threatening affair, where you can easily become a cooked piece of meat. So my friends, please remember to always properly check where you are before you go to the bath in a source of unknown water. You might be standing at the foot of a large volcano that is about to explode or not far away. Same case with the lakes that are above areas of strong tectonic phenomena. It's better to be prepared than roar into endless depths. Dear Top Topic community, as always, thank you for watching. Oh, one more thing. Would you like to become our Patreon and support our work and research? The link is in the caption of the video. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.